is Abdul Rahman. I deliver lecture in computing and informatics and I'm based on a public university in Kenya. In our last lesson, we talked about uh, uh, variables and in the variables, we talked about what are the syntax of variable or the creation of a variable and uh, we had seen that actually it takes up a, a data type and uh, an identifier. Also, we talked about the naming conventions. Under the naming conventions, uh, we talked about uh, two naming conventions, the camel case and the underscore naming convention. Today, we are starting up a new journey and we are going to ask a, a, a question, what is an escape sequence? And on that particular journey, we are going to define what is an escape sequence. A sequence and then we are going uh, to see how do you write an escape sequence or the syntax and then we are going to implement uh, the same using up the dev C++. So let's start and define what is an escape sequence. Basically uh, the definition of an escape sequence It is actually a combination of backslashes and, and a character of lowercase. And it is used to format the output of a character. So basically, uh, escape sequences, they are used to format the output character. So that is very, very important. So basically, that is uh, what is it all about, that uh, it's a combination of backslashes and lowercase uh, uh, characters. And these characters uh, might be alpha uh, numeric or alphabets, uh, basically. So uh, let's take up the second part of it and see what is a syntax of an escape sequence. Basically, the syntax is very simple. You have to start up with a backslash and then followed by uh, characters. And these characters, they can be anything uh, for those particular characters because these are very special uh, uh, characters which they want to be seen by a compiler and be recognized to the reader. And these uh, formatting Especially we're talking about like uh, how do you write up a new line? How do you tell up a compiler to write up a, a tab, backspace, or maybe a question mark, a double quote, uh, and uh, so many of them. So in that particular note, we are going to take up um, maybe around 10 of them to see how we can implement in C++. Let's start up uh, with implementation. And we are starting up with the first one, which will be a backslash and a character N, which means we are having up a new line. So if you want to put up a new line, what will happen onto that? So let's go uh, back uh, to our demonstration here and try to execute. Now here we are having up a, a simple program and we want to uh, output demonstrating escape sequence. So let's execute this particular program you see when I execute this particular program basically saying demonstrating escape sequence in one line so how do you put up a, a a new line so basically putting up a new line we are putting up backslash and an n so we expected the output to become demonstrating and then on the next line escape sequence let's see now if you run this program and that was exactly what you have seen, demonstrating an, an escape a sequence. So uh, let's move on to the second part of it and see what happens. So the second one we are looking at a backslash and a T. Backslash and a T, this one will give us a horizontal tab. So this one will give us a tab. And this tab by default will give us five spaces. Five 
spaces. So let's see what will happen if you demonstrate that. So if you come here and demonstrate, here we are putting up uh, again backslash t. So here we are telling up a compiler to do things, two things. First of all, give us up a new line and then have in the new line we have five space. So let's five space of a horizontal tab. So let's execute and see what happens. And actually, yes, here we have demonstrating uh, and then we have around five spaces then escape the word escape sequence. So that's uh, that's very really good. Number three. Number three, we are going to have a backspace and a B and this will demonstrate basically uh, a backspace. So let's demonstrate how we can do up a backspace onto that. Maybe we want to remove uh, a few letters here. Let's say str, str. Uh, so we can put up our backspaces because backspace basically uh, uh, just remove up one one letter at a time, just like the usual backspace. So. Uh, let's have a, a few backspaces here. So we are going to have three backspaces. So on the three backspaces, we uh, we might eliminate. Uh, we're supposed to eliminate uh, three letters. So let's execute and let's see what happens. Okay, and uh, basically uh, uh, that's what has happened. It has eliminated all the three letters. You have got demo ate. So that is. What we have done with a back uh, with a backspace. So let's go to number four. And number four, we are taking up backspace A, and this backspace A, uh, it will give up a, a sound that is a, a bell sound. So if you want to program and you want to give up a, a back sound, so we are using up a, a backspace A. So so let's use here a backspace A, a backspace A, and when you execute, uh, you are going to hear a sound. Okay, so we have heard that particular sound, and uh, uh, that is uh, what it is used for. And then let's go uh, to the next one. And maybe we want to put up a double backspaces. So this basically will give up a, a back slash. <coughs> so that will give up a backslash. So let's put up a backslash backslash and then let's see what happens. So if you put up here backslash backslash or double backslash and we run our program actually we are seeing up a backslash and then here we are saying demonstrating escape key so that is uh, very good so the next one let's move on to the next one we're talking about uh, let's talk about the next one backslash double quote so if you want uh, to do a double quote we are using up that one double quote so let's take for example, we want to double quote, we want to double quote, we want to double quote to demonstrate. So basically, uh, this is what we'll do. So we are putting up a, a quotation there. And then again, we have to put up a a backslash and a quote so this basically will quote up to demonstrate into quotes so let's run that so here we have got up an error why is uh, because we have got quote and a, a quote again so uh, we have to do it uh, back again on that particular error so uh, for us to do that 
So it is backslash again. So here you have to put up a backslash. And uh, here you have to put up a backslash and a quote. So basically, you cannot put up a quote and a quote. So that is backslash and a quote and a backslash and a quote. So when we run that, yes, it gives that a demonstrating into a quote. So that is uh, actually very good onto that. So let's move on to the seventh one. The seventh one, we want up a single quote. So that will give us a, a quote which is single, and this one will give up a quote which was double. So here we'll put up a single quote, backslash single quote, and here we'll put up a, a backslash and a single quote. So we we'll execute what happens. Let's execute. And here we are seeing backslash actually single quote onto that. That's very good. So let's move on to number eight. Number eight, basically, if you want to put up a question mark, so it will be a backslash and a question mark. So this will be a question mark. So if you want uh, uh, to do that, and here we want to say maybe a backslash and a question mark. So here basically uh, it will be uh, a backslash and a question mark. So basically when we are going to see this at the, uh, at the end of the day, it will give us an error. Why will you give us up an error? Uh, it is because here we've got so many backslashes and a sequence. So let's remove some of this and see what happens. Okay, so we are going to remove that. So here you are having a backslash. And a question mark. So what we are going to have here, basically demonstrating, and then a new tab, uh, a new line, and a question mark. So let's uh, execute that. So we having escape sequence here with a question mark. Uh, that is the demonstration about it. So let's go to number nine. Number nine. We want to demonstrate a dollar sign. So basically, you can say a backslash and a dollar sign here. So when we execute this, what happens? We having escape sequence and a dollar sign, and lastly, if we want to execute number 10, backslash an asterisk. So this one will give up a, an asterisk. So maybe we'll say backslash an asterisk. So when you execute this particular one, Yes, we are getting up a backslash and an asterisk. So that makes up the end of our lesson today, escape sequence. And uh, in our next lesson, we are going to talk about data types. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to get up new updates and new videos which are coming up soon. Thank you.